Yes. Now it's good. Very good. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Sunday, and the date is 14th of February 2021. Today, we're going to talk about rocks. We said that we can classify rocks into three main groups. You remember, it was igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. We talked about the first one, which is igneous rock. In a short word, what does it mean, igneous rock? Hmm, who can tell me? I know. Yes, Yatala. Yes, Yatala. Magma or lava that hardens. Excellent. It cools down, then hardens. Excellent. Very good. And we classified them also into two groups. One of them will cool down quickly, and one of them will cool down slowly. slowly. Excellent girls, slowly. And we had some uh, examples about the slowly and the quickly. Who can tell me which one of them that you can see the mineral crystals very clear? The one that took time to cool down or the one that cooled down very quickly? That Only took time. Excellent. Slowly. Very good, slowly. The other one, can you see it with your own eye or you need a microscope for that? You need a microscope. Excellent, very good, very good. Today we're going to learn about sedimentary rock. The word sediments, do you remember the word sediments? We took it last uh, time, the previous unit, I think, unit eight. What are the sediments? When rocks are broken with ice, wind, or water, what happens to these rocks? They become very small. And these small rocks, what do we call them? Hmm. Who remembers what is sediment? Sediment. Yes, what we call them sediments. So what are sediments? Um, they are like the uh, forms from the sediment that. I'm not asking you what is sediment rock. What is sediment? See, Tyler, please. I'm not asking you what is sedimentary rock. I'm just asking you Mr. what do lagging. I. I'm really lagging for everyone. Yeah, yeah. But not too much. Like oh, it's la your sound like lads, and then sometimes it cuts like. Oh, I'm really sorry. So I'm going to try to talk um, a little bit slowly. Maybe it's better. Um, I'm asking you, what are sediments? When weathering happens, broken uh, rocks will be broken by ice, wind or water. They will form small pieces of rocks. Is that true or false? True. True. What do I call small pieces of rocks? That are sediment. Excellent. I call them sediments. Now, I'm going to tell you how sedimentary rock are formed. When I'm talking about sediments, definitely I'm talking about small pieces. So when they are fall down, eventually they will f uh, uh, reach where? From top of the mountain, they will reach the ocean okay when they are reached at the ocean look at the pictures over here can you see the arrows going down down hmm three pictures can you see them yeah okay yes when sediments reach the ocean okay the, we know that they are formed from where from weathered rock an eroded rock they will lose layers okay and they will become very small but they will go down deep over here, the water. After a while or after time, more layers of sediments will be deposited on top. Remember the word deposited? Do you remember? Yeah. Yes. Okay, what do I mean by deposited? I know what is the meaning of deposited. 
Please tell me. It's like the raw, the small rocks that uh, move. Excellent. Yes, the they move. Or... Yes, they will change their position. That's what the position. Yes, no, the position where they are. They will change the position. So oh. depossessed, they will move. Moving rocks, we call it them depossessed. Okay? Everyone, are you here with me? Yes. Yes. So when more yes. layers of sediments come to on top, the additional weight, what happened? What do you think when there's too much rock are coming on top? Too much, too much, too much. Is it going to be so much weight or not? It will be so much weight. Excellent. Yeah. What about pressure? Is going to be any pressure? Yeah. Yes. A lot of pressure because a lot of weight of rocks and a lot of pressure on the layers are underneath. Can you see the, the middle picture over here? Yep. Okay. Does that will change the rocks, the sediment rocks? Will it change the shape of it or not? No, just the possession. Very sure. When high pressure and uh, oh, it will a lot change of weight, it definitely... high pressure and a lot of weight, and it's going to be hot. So like, not really hot. Over rock. time, Yatayla, the sediment at the bottom will become cemented. Look at over here, down. Glued we'll... together. Yes, they look like glued, that, that they are very uh, glued together. They are very stick together. By, by what? Because of the by air. The... In, yes, but because of the air between them and the pressure and the too much weight above, the more you put sediment rocks on top, the more you find sedimentary rocks in the bottom so this is why we call it sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks they are cemented together they are glued together over here so which one is the sedimentary rock the on top or in the bottom the bottom excellent the one in the bottom and this is sedimentary rocks sometimes guys sometimes not only rocks will be uh, pressured and uh, formed over here sometimes you can find fossils and do you know what is fossils what are fossils yeah, who can tell the me skeleton. excellent the skeleton or the remains that is buried underground yes the, the remains, remains of an animal excellent. or a living thing of animals so let's see a fossil over here is can you see the highlighted word or not yes we can everyone can see the highlighted word guys can you yes yes, yes. okay so fossil is the hmm, the remains or signs or trace of living thing such as a bone a shell a leaf imprint or a fossil footprint so one of the things that you can find in sedimentary rocks are fossils there are some other way that fossil that uh, sedimentary rocks can be formed do you know how with a chemical process how with a chemical process a chemical process like rock salt and limestone. There are two types of sedimentary rock that form when minerals dissolved in water, they come out of solution. So what happens to the minerals? Hmm. What happens to the minerals? They dissolved in water. Are you here guys? 
Miss, I can't. You can't what? Here I can hear you. Your voice like Your cut voice off. Is all just... lagging and cutting off. Really? Yes, a lot. Like not a lot. Like yeah. This like just earlier, just like cut off like a long time. Okay. Did you hear about the chemical process? How sedimentary rocks can be uh, formed in a chemical process? No. This is the part where we didn't hear anything. Okay. So they can be formed in a chemical process when two types of sedimentary rocks, okay? What happens to them? We know that all rocks, they have minerals. Is that right? These minerals will dissolve in water. When they dissolve in water, they come out of solution and they make up a new rocks. It's also sedimentary, but uh, we call it a limestone and uh, a rock salt. I'm gonna show you the pictures. Maybe it's easier for you to see the pictures. Over here, this one is a limestone. Can you see the limestone? Anyone, can you see the limestone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This limestone, how did it form? It went through a chemical process. How some minerals, they dissolved in water and a solution comes out of it. Then it make this shape. It has what else? Only, um, uh, only rocks or you can uh, see something. Hmm. I see something in orange and it looks like a fork. What is it? Shell? Yes, excellent. It's a shell. This shell are made up of mineral calcite. So this shell is made of calcite. When the animals die, the shells are left behind. They are crushed into sand-sized particles. Can you imagine? It will be crushed. And what size, in which size, in sand size particles, in which became cemented together. See, these sand sized particles, they will be cemented together, together. And sometimes within the limestone, you can find the whole shell fossils, not only the cemented particles. So a limestone is almost made out of what? Of shell. What about rock salt? Look at this page or Alyssa, this picture. Just a minute. Now look at this rock salt. Hmm. From the name rock salt, it forms from what? From salt left behind. When salt water evaporates, the, the main mineral in rock is what? is hal halite. Remember the word? I remember only Fairuz uh, wrote the answer and sent it to me. And previously when we did unit uh, eight. I did it, but I forgot, I forgot to send it. It's all right. So it is the, the highlight. The highlight, it is the name of the, uh, the, the rock salt, okay? And this rock salt, when all the water evaporates and go away, what is left is only salt. When they are joined together, they will make what? A rock salt. These small particles of salt, they will be cemented together. How something can be cemented when it has air and a lot of pressure and weight and they join together, they will be cemented. They will look like they are glued together and then they will make a rock, okay, a special rock. So sedimentary rock, we took how many uh, examples of it? How many examples of uh, sedimentary rocks? Um, what? This is the process. Can you see? This is the process how sedimentary yeah. rocks are formed. And these are the examples of 
how they are formed from a chemical process. And this one is how fossils can be. The sandstone, look at the sandstone. We call it a sandstone. Hmm. All clear? Yes. All right. Finally, the last one we have over here, it's called a metamorphic rock. What is a metamorphic rock? First of all, <laughs> you know the word metamorphic would, from where it comes? Uh, no. It's a Greek word. It comes from the Greek word. It means what? To change form. So metamorphic means to change form. What do you know about metamorphic, Yatala? The rock that forms like the earth process when it like change the mineral and texture content of a rock, it's called a metamorphic rock. Thank you for reading. Thank you very much. So the word metamorphic, we said it's Greek word. It comes from where? It means to change form. If it's going to change form, definitely then it means when it never it is changing texture and mineral that it's inside, we call it a metamorphic rock. It can go through a lot of changes. Once it, the first time it formed, it will have calcite. The second time it will have calcite and highlite. And the third time it will have another additional mineral. So whenever it is changing the form of it. So that's what we call a metamorphic. What, what do you need to change the form of rock? What do you need? You need high? Pressure. Excellent, high pressure okay. and high? Temperature. Excellent, you need high pressure and high temperature. Every time you add a high temperature and a high pressure, you need to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. All these process can be uh, naturally. How it can uh, form naturally? Because underground, down deep, deep, deep the ground, is it high pressure and high heat or not? Where lava and magma is? Yeah. Or it's very cool. Cool. Really? Is it cool or very hot? Down deep the ground. Hot. Very hot because lava and magma are there down deep the ground. And it is very high in pressure and high in pressure. <laughs> These rocks are changeable. They are changing all the time. Once they are changed more than once, they change uh, twice or thrice or uh, uh, four times. What do they make? They make different types of rocks. And these different types of rocks, we call it metamorphic rocks. Now we'll see only the examples, like this one first, uh, the first one over here. It's a shale. We call it a shale. It looks gray. A shale is a type of sedimentary rock that forms from very fine sediment. All right. What about this Next one? You are... Again? You're lagging. You're so lagging. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Now, I want you to take a look at these two. Look at these two rocks. Okay. Hmm. So the first one is shale. It's a type of sedimentary rock, all right? The second one with, with high pressure and somewhat, uh, sorry, somewhat increased temperature, the layer of shale are flattened and the structure and mineral within the rock change. Shale becomes the metamorphic rock slate. So these, these, these are almost the same rock, 
But what happened to it? What happened? What increased? Um, the temperature and? The rock. The temperature and the pressure. The high pressure. High pressure. Excellent. High pressure and high temperature made it change. Guys, I, th I feel that you cannot hear me. We can, but you're so laggy. Until now, I'm still lagging. Oh, now it's like, like you're lagging, but then not lagging. And then lagging. For everyone? Now you're not. Yes. But you might. For everyone, guys. Miss, I can yeah. hear you good. Yeah. yeah. Now it's good. Now yeah. it's good. Now Thank you, Jude. Good, so yeah. Jude can hear me very good. What about you, Jenna? I could too, but like it's gonna lag then. Okay, it's all gonna be in the recorded session. I'm gonna see the recorded session. If I, I was lagging, uh, it will appear in the recorded session. So I'm gonna repeat this lesson for you. Okay? Now, we'll see. These two rocks, we said they are the same. This one, it was sedimentary rock, but with high pressure and high temperature, it became another rock. Why? Because of heat and high pressure. Also, with even greater temperature, look, it becomes another different uh, rock. This is a new different rock. With even greater temperature and um, uh, pressure, minerals and salt become other minerals, see? It's all about chemical changes. When you add heat and pressure to minerals, they will definitely change. And when they are changing, they will give you a new substance. This is what is happening over here. And finally, look at the under ten intenses pressure, the mineral in skit spreads into bands, new minerals may form too. Look at this rock. Can you imagine it was this one from, uh, from before? These are the same rock in this page. Look at this one. This one was like this in first place, but what happened to it? It changed many times until it reached this shape. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. So, finally, yeah. metamorphic rock means changing in form every time. It changes the form every time. What does it need, Dia Maria, to change the form of it? It needs high pressure. And? High temperature. Excellent. High pressure and high temperature. And every time you add to a rock high temperature and high pressure, the mineral will change or it will remain the same? Uh, it will it'll change. Excellent. New yeah. mineral will appear. New substance that will appear because it's all about chemical changing. That's it, guys. That was all about our lesson. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, can anyone tell me before we leave, as a conclusion, how many types of rocks do we learn? Did we learn? How many types of rocks did we learn? The lagging. Hmm? The lagging. How many types of rocks did we learn? Um, three. Types of rocks. The, in, in, How many types of rocks? Three. Three types of rocks. Three. Excellent. What are they? The in, igneous rock. Excellent. Igneous rock and the sedimentary rock and the metamorphic rock. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Igneous and sedimentary and 
metamorphic. Meta metamorphic. Okay, what does it mean metamorphic? Who can tell me? Metamorphic rocks means to? High pressure and high. Okay, they high, need high and pressure make, and high temperature to do what? To make rocks. To change what? It will stay the same rock or it will change the form of rock? the form excellent to change the form of rocks excellent this is metamorphic every time you add up heat and you add up high pressure it will definitely change form what about sedimentary sediments will what will we'll form together. Excellent, and will be? Um, under pressure. Okay, under they pressure. need pressure, very good, to be glued or cemented together. Excellent, glued together by high pressure and hmm. what about igneous rocks what about igneous rock who can tell me what about igneous rocks only maria knows i know yes yeah Feiruz. igneous rocks um, they call, they call. And harden. Excellent. From what? Magma or lava. Excellent. Very good. Very good. That's all about our lesson from the beginning to the end. Okay. From the beginning and to the end. What I need you to add on these guys, add the uh, examples, add uh, uh, the process. How did it go from one, two, three? Okay, guys, every time you do this, after you finish your lesson, this we call it a summary or a mind map. When you do this, guys, you will understand your lesson and you have uh, your lesson in your mind and you will never forget about it. And when it comes to uh, exams or something, it will be very easy for you to study. So please, please, guys, this is what I want from you to do at home when you finish your lesson. Draw a mind map. Make it easy for you. Make it short for you. Summarize everything. It's going to be really easy to study from when you need to study for your exam. Okay, guys, is there any question? No. no. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you too. Bye. Bye-bye.